This week's show brought to you by Frank Shoup, Georgetown's big name in cars. Georgetown Advantage Air, now locally owned and operated by Gene Thompson. Welcome everybody to the Scott County Cardinals Coaches Show with Coach Billy Hicks. I'm Cal Oaks. Our special guest this week is Dakota Allen. We're here to break down the final week of the regular season. I can't believe it's here. Can you? <laughs> oh, it's, it's hard to imagine, Cal. It, 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 you start practicing in August and, and you think that, gosh, you know, no is ever going to get here. Then it gets here and then you blink and it's February and it's tournament time. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's really been a fast year. February is the time you want to be playing some of your best basketball. I think certainly, uh, at least on the defensive end, the Cardinals are, are where they need to be going to the playoffs. Right? That's what you build for, and, and, you, and with a plan in mind, when you start out in August, you have that plan where you can each step along the way, you keep putting a few things in here, a few things there, and you keep building to it, and, and building on things that, that you first introduce and put in, and hopefully that it will all come together at, at the end of February. and, and uh, most times it does, sometimes it don't, and most times it does. And, and, uh, and, and not just defensively, but even offensively. I thought, I think Cooper every game just gets better at running the show and better at learning where people are and, 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 and doing things with it. So that, that's also made us better. Dakota, what's been working well for you guys the past week or two? Uh, you've been holding most teams under 40 points a game. I mean, it, it's, it's been fun to watch. Coach is just always in practice telling us how we need to work on our defense. He's just always trying to do the right thing, be in the right position, always bragging us about being in the healthy and being just right in the right position. You know, the, the game that's particularly on my mind is the one we saw last night at the time of this filming. It was the, the Louisville Eastern game where you held them to four points in the first quarter and nine points in the first half. I mean, you, you yeah. probably haven't seen too many games like that in, in recent years. No, that was that was a little unusual, Cal, especially a team with, with Eastern has some some firepower. They got some guys that can score. Probably, you know, one one thing that that hurt them last night. Their point guard, who's been a three-year starter, uh, Sugar uh, was was injured. Didn't play last night, I, and that really hurt. They just didn't have anybody to replace him to get him in their offense and get things going. But then again, they've got they had Williams and Russian and Johnson. And they they had some fine players that that had been around a long time up there that did really good against this last couple of years. And to be able to go out and, and and, and make it hard to score. But what was great about last night was we, we, we are disciplined on defense. You always hear about discipline on offense, but discipline on defense is enough to play several passes, not just one or two passes, and then stop, raise up, and quit. Mm -hmm. Quit playing the upside, quit containing the ball. Gosh, we, we, we you know, and, and, and Eastern being a real deliberate team, real, real uh, conservative, they made several passes on some of those possessions and we stayed right with their defense because they were, they would move the ball, they were trying to jab in and get a drive here, we cut that off, they'd move it, try to get a drive, we cut that off, and, and eventually got steals on those situations. So that was a, you know, that, that's what I was proud about more than anything, is our, our defensive discipline. The thing I've noticed, Dakota, also in recent games, and some of this is because of the defense, I'm sure, and some of it's because of the big leads you guys have had, but, just the balance you guys have had on offense, too. It's, it's, it's going to be hard for teams to stop you guys if, if you have that kind of scoring spread across the board. Yeah, we have uh, Cooper Wilds. He pretty much runs the show. And Michael and uh, Cooper Wilds, they always get the rebounds on the offense and the defensive side. Mm -hmm. and it just all connects with all the rest of the players executing and stuff like that. That's why it's so important we don't turn the ball over because we get it on the glass. You know, between, you know, we, we're the number one rebounding team in the state of Kentucky. Uh, I guess we're still there. I, I, we, we have been all year. So we got a chance to rebound it. We put it in. And uh, I tell you, one thing we're excited about, Cal, is, is Dakota here. Uh, Dakota has it just the last few weeks has risen up the ladder. Uh, you know, you, you want to get into the, the top seven, mm -hmm. definitely top eight rotation mm -hmm. because it's hard to play a lot more than that at tournament time in crucial situations. And, He's got this over there. Probably right now, Dakota's probably a seventh man, and, and and he brings some offense, some some athletic ability, some good defense, and and uh, he's been playing harder, really playing harder here lately. And so, uh, you know, I, we're excited that, that you know because we need that. We need Dakota to be a better player, and I think he, he's really coming on. And I've kidding him. I said he's been on his 
on this train for a long time. I said, it's about time now. He, he, he stepped up and, and produced, and, and, and he is, and uh, we're excited. I think he, Dakota can make us a better basketball team. Dakota, what has been the key for you is it, is this last month or so, knowing it's it's senior year and it's go time? I mean, is that some of it, just the, the motivation? Yes, sir. That's <laughs> probably most of it is just getting reminded that it's my last year and just trying to play hard as best as I can do. What have you seen out of him in the past uh, month especially? Is it just Well, the main thing is Cal, he's playing, the coach is playing harder. He's shooting the ball. He's always been a good shooter. It just sometimes Dakota was just, he's a really a nice kid. Sometimes Dakota's just glad to be out there. You know, he's just happy to be there. You know, and, and we want him to be there and, and compete. And, and he, he's always, he's, a, he's, a, he's one of the best athletes on the team. Mm -hmm. You know, for his quickness and his jumping ability and everything. Uh, he's been a hesitant passer. I, I think where, again, Dakota sometimes uh, gets a little nervous sometimes. Game. But I think he's past that now, and, and looks to me like now you just think about playing hard and winning, rather than getting worried about making a bad play or something happen. Uh, and uh, I, he's got us all, all the coaches, stuff excited because we think that down the stretch here he can make us make us he can be exactly what we need. Does it just take a while sometimes to find your role on a team like this, uh, with as much talent as you guys have um, from the top to bottom? Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean. Everybody that plays in Scott County. We're all good ball players. Uh, coach is always talking about how everybody needs to dribble the ball and do everything that they can do because everybody needs to do that in the basketball game. So yeah, it's been giving me that little support there. You don't have a ton of senior leadership on this team, but we've we've started to have them on the show the past couple of weeks. I mean, uh, it, it's, it's got to be good as a coach to know you got some older guys who've been on the train for a while. Right. They they can step up this time of year. It is, and and, and they are. I, I think uh, Cooper Watts has has really come on late, and that's probably one of those reasons that we're playing play so good. And uh, Caleb Covington has, has been steady. Caleb's been a, not a great offensive player far shooting the ball, but he's where he's supposed to be, he does what he's supposed to do, and he plays hard. He makes the other team mad because he gets <laughs> up in guys and gets after them and brings some really good defensives and some good hustle to the line when he comes in. So they, they, our seniors, are, are, you know, again, we don't have a lot of them, but uh, I think they all could be big contributors down the stretch here. We mentioned the Eastern game going back a little bit farther to, uh, to the, the end of the previous week. You had a, a big win over Bryan Station on senior night, a, a, a great night for the uh, for the program in general. A lot of things got recognized. Oh, it's good to see that crowd come in, Cal, and, and, and we got to honor myself, but all but more importantly, Yakari Figs got a, you know got our Hall of Fame plaque that we hang in the school here, and, and uh, it's great to see Yakari again and her little boy, Kaysen, and uh, Taylor Taylor Berryman got the first the first ever first time. Bill Cotley Award, and uh, that was a heck of an honor. And, and we're anybody that's ever grew up in Kentucky and knew knew I knew Bill or even knew I knew Bill Cotley knew him uh, realized what an honor that is and everything. Don't know how Taylor got it, but you know, <laughs> 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 nah, we're we're very proud of Taylor. Very proud of Taylor to get that and and. Uh, uh, you know, it was it, it was just a great night. I thought the band, the atmosphere, the packed house, it really was. And I, I thought Brown Station came out. Uh, man, they come out of the gates, you know, really ready to play. And, and they're a very athletic team, Cal. We got to go down there Tuesday night and play them first round district at Brown Station. And uh, that's not going to be an easy task. What are the senior night emotions like for a player uh, that's being introduced for the final time on the home court? I mean, uh, is it possible to put that into words? Uh, uh, you could put it in words, but it's just a very great feeling to be here for four years and go through the whole program, just get to know everybody, and just it's, it was a good time. You know, Cal, okay, the hardest thing about it, we're talking about not the players, it's hard on the parents. <laughs> yeah, that's a rite of passage. It's one of those rites of passage where now they're they're finishing up their Scott County, you know, not going to be playing any more games here. So that's a and they've been dreaming about that, been doing that since they've been little kids. How is it for a coach? Yeah. You've been through it 40 times. It, it, is, it, it is hard. I've been <laughs> through as a parent. And, and, and as a parent, it's, that's why I know it's really hard as a parent because it's hard to start a ball game when your children have done it and you're going, you know, and everything, and then you got to go in and coach a ball game. But it's really tough on, 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 on parents. But also, it, it, yeah, it's, it's really tough on the players. But now as a coach, Coaching players like Dakota and the, the, the dozens and dozens of them that we we passed through here over the years, 
that's tough also because it's not so tough as much on senior night. It's tough when you play that last game because you realize I'm never going to have that kind of relationship with them again. Mm -hmm. You know, a kid like Trent Gilbert, when Trent, Trent, you know, he, he just lived in the gym. Mm -hmm. You know, he was like one of us. You know, <laughs> and, just something. and then it, that, that's when it really hits you. When it, then, then when Trent graduated to play that last game, we think, wow, you know, I'm no longer going to be Trent's coach. Mm -hmm. You know, that's going to be a different, you didn't become a friend, you become a friend and, and stuff as it goes on. But yeah, you're right, it's tough on coaches because they they move on they move mm -hmm. on and other other people fill that role of a coach in, in their life whether it's on a job or in college or somebody coaches them through things that happen in their life but they'll have many more coaches but we're not going to be their their, right. their their main coach that's telling them what to do every day and <laughs> running and watching over them and making sure they do the right things uh, yeah we should actually do that <laughs> but it, it is it's hard on coaches because you, you really get really close to the players when they play here we got two pretty significant games coming up. We mentioned one with Brian Station. We'll get back to that. But first up on, on Thursday night this week, Dunbar. I mean, that's a game that a lot of people probably had circled on their calendar yeah. for a while since last year. Now you're both here again among the top five teams in the state, and it's going to be a barn burner in Lexington. Oh, it'll be. And it'll be a Tavion Hollingsworth's last home game at Dunbar because their district's going to be at Catholic. So I'm sure Tavion already didn't want to. Tell me, I don't want to put on the show down in the morning. <laughs> so, it, and we got to make sure it's not the Tavion on the show. So, it, 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 it's 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 really good, Cal. I, I wish we had it two weeks ago instead of having it now because <laughs> it's a big game before we head into districts. But win or lose, it should you know it should get us ready for district play, and and, and it'll be a it you know it, it it'll be a heck of an atmosphere down there on on Thursday night, and we're 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 looking forward to it. How badly as players have we been waiting for that game for, for a while now? We've been uh, <laughs> waiting for that game for a pretty long time since they came to our place last year and gave us a pretty good loss and it was pretty difficult to handle because we wanted to beat them so bad but I think this year we'll have a pretty good chance to get them. And then you get through that one and as you mentioned next Tuesday the 42nd district tournament which Coincidentally enough, it's at Bryan Station. So now, even though you're the top seed, you've got to play number four on their home court. Yeah, that becomes the most important game of the year because, you know, when, you know, it's, we, you, you're out, you know, it's a one and done. So uh, Monday, Tuesday night's game is by far the most important game of the year. Um, you know, uh, not, not the toughest our district's been by no means, but it's got good balance. All, all four teams are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Has Coach already started working with you guys on the mental approach of this game? Is we got to forget the score the first two times we played them? Yes, yeah, so he's been on us pretty bad. He's talking about how getting close to the tournament time, anything can happen. These teams are going to actually want to play. So we got to actually play to our full best ability. The bells go off. There goes the bell. <laughs> uh, and, and you got to answer the bell, right? I mean, that's, it's, it's, a one and, it's a one and done it's situation. It's a one and done. We got to go to Brown Station and. And, and again, it's all, everything is clean slate. We start off at, at zero, zero, and they, you know, no wins, no losses. And, and so Brian Station starts off the clean slate also, Cal. So I'm sure that motivates them. And, and uh, they're a very well coached team. They're very athletic. Uh, no way on this earth we'd ever overlook them. Yeah. They, you know, you know, we're not gonna overlook them, I can tell you that. That's a good, it almost helps you not to overlook them because right. you know how much that is riding on that game. It's, you, you, can't, you can't lose that game. You get beat so. That's right. We'll be here hopefully to talk about a win there and uh, looking forward hopefully beyond that to the 11th region tournament. But first things first, we'll get through these next couple of games. Until next time, thank you Dakota, thank you coach. I'm Cal, we'll see you on the sidelines.